Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome back to another one of my videos. I am Droodles Blitz, and today I'm going to be talking about the end of this year's Blitz Fair, which is over in like one or two days by the time you're watching this video. I'm going to be speaking my overall opinion on it, how I felt it compared to the other year's Blitz Fairs before it, and just everything else in this quick little video to cap up the year. So, this year's Blitz Fair, I actually really liked the VK90 that came out. You can see I've got some gameplay on it, and this is probably the last gameplay you'll see of the VK90 on my channel for quite a long time until it does come out. And the reason of this being is just because, as you guys know, uh, the way us YouTubers make our videos is we usually base them on the tanks that hit the store. When a new tank hits the store, that's the best way for us to get views, capitalize on our monetization. It's really just the best way to grow our channel and make some nice profits as well. However, as you guys mostly know, I want to make this a completely community-based channel as well. So, you know, for older tanks that have been in the game for some time, let's say like the ST1, or just vehicles that you don't see videos on, like the SU-12254, Object 263, just tanks that aren't really talked about in Blitz because they're older or they haven't been buffed in a while, like name the last time you've seen a video posted on the AMX-50B review, something like that. And I was thinking about it, and if any of you guys ever want to have reviews on those tanks or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below, message me on Discord, direct message me, say hey, I want a video on the Amex 50B, is it possible you could do this? And, you know, chances are I probably will do something like that. Because I like being able to make videos that's going to help people learn how to play the game, and overall it's just fun for me to record videos, it's just a nice little hobby I do, and I get a little bit of change doing it as well. So there's no shame in that. But with that aside, I wanted to get straight into my opinion on this year's Blitz Fair, and to be honest, I honestly liked the years before better. Because last year's Blitz Fair, you could have gotten quite a bit more tanks out of the event for a lot of a cheaper price. Spinning that wheel, you just had better options, not to mention when you landed on the same tank twice, you would get an automatic free spin, which meant that you couldn't just keep landing on the same vehicle also, last year, the uh, Super Game was a lot easier, or the Lucky Spin, I think it was, was a lot easier to pick up than it was on this year's Blitz Fair. And the Snow Globes were just a ridiculous amount of money to pick up. The chests last year were better, in my opinion. It was definitely cheaper to pick up the T22 Medium, especially for me over the VK90. And the T22 Medium is just a better tank than the VK90. It's downright overpowered. The VK90 is a very, very strong tank, but the T22 is just a better vehicle. And the fact that Wargaming was charging such a ludicrous price tag for this vehicle, and some people say, well, I could always get it in the Snow Globe, or I get a free premium tank in the Snow Globe. Last year, I know people that got two, three free premium tanks from the Lucky Spins last year because they were able to just get so many more for free with the free experience they had saved up and everything else like that. And the years before Blitzfair, you could have gotten even more premium tanks by finishing the blueprints. I just feel really that you could have gotten so many more better tanks in the Blitzfairs, and the auctions were better last year. The Vindicator and the Predator, like, are you serious? Both of those tanks, they're meh, like, at best. The Vindicator, I personally like it, but that's just because it's such a funky and absurd tank that I like the playstyle of it. However, would I suggest to play it ever in Blitz? No, it's a completely awful tank. You'll probably do the worst you've ever done in Blitz if you do pick it up. The same for the Predator, it's just such a tall tank. You're gonna have such a hard time moving around the map, and not to mention they're pretty ugly indeed. And the fact that Wargaming is selling them in the Blitz Fair, and not to mention they weren't out too long ago, so I'm not even sure what Wargaming was thinking bringing them out. And really, the auction this year was just really lame compared to the, all the other years' auction. Now, four years ago, when the first Blitz Fair ever came out, the Type 59 came into the auction, the IS-3 Defender, Type 62, T-34 Independence. These were tanks that are very, very rare. Some of them hadn't even ever been sold since the first time of their release vehicles like the IS-3 Defender. And at that time, it was a very, very broken tank. Same as the Type 62, same as the Type 59. And the thing is, is that at that time, they sold out like hotcakes. There were 10,000 of them each, and every single one of them sold out. Nowadays, I think there were only 5,000 tanks a pop at this Blitz Fair, and they did sell out, but there weren't 10,000, and that's a very large difference in numbers. And that just shows you that so many more people wanted those tanks that long ago than this year now uh, buying newer and newer vehicles. 
because to be honest, the vehicles that they're selling just aren't that intriguing. Now they do have tanks like the Object 252 in here, and vehicles like the Amex 30B, but they've been sold in the store before. They're not super rare. The Object 252, it'll be back, guaranteed. And the thing is, Wargaming's also causing this problem themselves, because they're actually selling so many premium vehicles in the stores nowadays, like the Object 252, like the WZ120, like the IS-3 Defender, the Helsing. They're so common to get, you know, every four months or so, you'll find one of these really rare premium vehicles to just hit the store randomly. The weird thing is, is that now they don't have any super rare vehicles to really stick in the auction. They had a tank like the 121B they could have stuck in there. Nope, they they didn't do that one. T22 Medium, they should have stuck in it. They didn't do that one. Amex MLE, very rare tank. They had a couple options they could have done, but they just completely ignored them, and I have no clue why. So they made some really bad decisions. All the other years were so much better. And the other thing is that this year they only brought one new tank into the game. And I waited all year for the Blitz Fair. That's my favorite event in the game because that's the event where I get to get usually some really fun and exciting new vehicles for the game. The first Blitz Fair that ever came out, you got the Stritzwagen, which at the time was the first tier 6 auto-loading tank, and not to mention it was also the first Swedish tank in the game. It is still the only Swedish vehicle in the game. So it's a very cool tank, very unique. I love the look of it, and not to mention it wasn't a ridiculously priced vehicle. You could have actually earned it just by grinding down the event. So that I really, really liked. Then the next year they brought out, it was the M60, which you could have gotten in the Super Game, and as well the Chieftain T95. At those time, those were the rarest vehicles ever to hit the game. The Chieftain T95 had never, ever been sold before that, and the same as the M60, other than it being given out as a reward. So those were two very rare vehicles that kept people in the Blitz Fair wanting to pick it up, keeping Wargaming in business very, very well. Fast forward a year, you have the T-22 Medium and the T-95E6, two very cool Tier 10 tanks. The T-95E6, not so much for everybody, I really like it, but the T-22 Medium, everybody wanted it. This year, the VK-90, yeah, sure, it's a cool tank, but... I'm not going to go running this tank over and over and over. It's just not super exciting. So Wargaming only brought one new tank this year. I really thought they were going to bring something like the Chimera into the Blitz Fair or into this Lucky Globe thing. I don't know why they didn't do it. They have so many premium vehicles they are currently working on as well. They have the WZ-111 5A. They are now working on the SU-130. They're working on, as I said, the Chimera, the Carnarvon Action 10. There are so many premium vehicles that they could have put into this, not to mention they're working on the 50 TP as well. I honestly don't understand why they couldn't have come up with one other really cool vehicle that would have just set the bar really high for people to, you know, gamble to get or people to just spend money on the auction to get that would really make vehicles sell a lot quicker. So this year, to be honest, I'm just disappointed in how many tanks you could get with your money. Because if you wanted to pick up that VK90, you're literally losing hundreds of thousands of gold. You know, last year, if you didn't get the T22 Medium, you'd actually come out with some decent stuff. You might get a lot of free experience, a lot of boosters. This year, you had to spend so much gold to pick them up. It was such a waste. So I'm very disappointed in this year's Blitz Fair, and I really hope that they fix this with the Lunar Event, or just something really cool, because I really thought that maybe they were going to bring the T49 ATM back out for a fun little event before they did bring out the Sheridan to really just, you know, spice up this year's Blitz Fair, maybe give it like a cool Christmas camo. I, on, I don't understand anything Wargaming was planning this year. Honestly, I could have done a better job. I personally feel designing this year's Blitz Fair than they did themselves. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video on me sort of ranting about it. I don't like to rant a lot, but I really need to tell Wargaming if they are watching this video or anybody related with Wargaming is watching this video that they screwed up this year's Blitz Fair. They made it way too expensive. It wasn't fun at all. The Clementines were the most useless thing I've ever really seen in an in-game currency. It's a waste of grinding, and it just kept people hooked on the game, and that's why they really did them. It's just to keep you playing their game. They didn't want you to gain anything from it. A lot of players I know still have not even gotten the first Snow Globe, and that's just because the Clementines are so ridiculously expensive on those chests once 
once you start do racking up in the numbers, and they literally only drop 5 to 10 snowflakes a pop. And when you need 700 or whatever, it's a ridiculous amount where gaming's asking you to play to get these vehicles. So I'm really disappointed in this event itself. And I honestly hope that Wargaming does do something to fix their act, because I'm pretty disappointed in them. And, you know, it's just really sad for me to see this, because they had so much potential this year. They have so many good people working on staff, and they just did the wrong thing. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below as well. Like this button if you do agree with me. Dislike it if you don't agree with me. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, we are so close to 5,000 subscribers. We're at, like, 4.88 thousand right now. I don't know what happened over this break, but it just skyrocketed in videos. I really wished I did post when I was on vacation, but sadly I didn't just have the time. But if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do so. Click that bell icon as well if you want to be notified whenever I do make any notifications or I do talk to the community because sometimes I'll make little posts where I talk about some other stuff as well. Um, you know, future videos, anything like that. But other than that, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this. As always, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.